Hello everyone out there in YouTube land. I know this video blog is coming a little bit late this week. I guess I said that last week too, didn't I? But in any case, I figured I would take the beautiful day, since the weather has finally started to get nicer and clear up, to uh, do this one from the great outdoors. Today's topic of discussion is why the recently announced Justice League movie is going to fail. Earlier this week on Facebook, I put up a post asking people for uh, questions for me to talk about on this week's video blog, and one of the people, uh, Pete Rodriguez, friend of mine, asked what I thought of Ben Affleck as Batman for the uh, new DC movies that are going to be going forward. Uh, for the record, I think he's going to be fine, and uh, while Christian Bale was a very good Batman, I do think he was kind of overrated, and the best part of all of those Dark Knight movies was never actually Batman. So Affleck will do fine, but then that got me thinking about other things, namely how this movie and the things surrounding it have kind of been a mess so far. Now, when I say the movie's going to be a failure, I don't necessarily mean that it's not going to make a gajillion dollars because they could just shoot a bag of cat food for two hours and throw the uh, DC Superman Batman names on it and it would surely make a gajillion dollars. Uh, the thing that I'm talking about as far as a failure goes is that it won't actually be a good movie and it will be scattered. It'll be all over the place, kind of like this video I suppose. And here's why. Number one, scheduling. If you go back and take a look at the Marvel movies, uh, the scheduling for all of the Avenger solo movies, uh, Iron Man, uh, Captain America, Thor, not only did they all take place before the Avengers movie came out, but they all took place within a very tight, uh, a, a very tight schedule of each other, all within uh, a few months within the same year. You had Iron Man 2 in 2010, and then not that far after that, you had Thor and you had Captain America, and then uh, you had the Avengers. By that point, Every major character in the Avengers had either had their own movie, uh, the aforementioned Iron Man, Thor, and Captain America, or at least had some sort of appearance uh, establishing themselves within those movies, uh, Black Widow in Iron Man 2, and Hawkeye in Thor. So everybody had been established at that point. Now, we don't know 100% for sure what the DC schedule is going to be like, but what we know is that the next movie they have slated to come out is Batman vs. Superman, or whatever the hell you want to call it, and that's going to be in 2016. So that's going to introduce Batman to the world, and possibly Wonder Woman, but by the time the Justice League movie rolls around, those will be the only established characters, and the Justice League is more than just three people, and also Wonder Woman does deserve her own movie. Now, the problem with this is that if you're going to have a Justice League movie where it's going to feature, we're guessing, five or six heroes at this point comparable to the Avengers, not only are you going to have to establish what those heroes are doing and the people that they're fighting in that movie, i.e. the villains, but you're also going to have to establish their backstories as well. Now, given that most of the Marvel movies and the DC movies have been running around two and a half hours as of late, that's not a lot of time to get all that accomplished. Problem number two, fan reaction. When you take a look back at the... Marvel movies leading up to the Avengers, they were all either very highly acclaimed or at least had a warm reception. Uh, you take a look back at the DC movies and the characters that are supposed to be in the Justice League movie. The Superman movie received initial okay reviews, but then got worse and worse as people thought about it and time went on to the point where it is kind of seen critically at least as a failure at this point. Uh, before that, you had the Green Lantern movie, which universally was panned. So that's two movies establishing two of your main stars within the movie that really weren't seen as very good movies. That tends to mean that people are not going to be as excited for uh, a Justice League ensemble movie uh, unless, for some reason, that sentiment turns around. Maybe Batman vs. Superman is going to be really good, but people are going to be going into that one with trepidation as well, considering the first Man of Steel didn't do very well, and people in general are apprehensive for ba Ben Affleck as Batman, and people are also upset that Wonder Woman is getting shoveled into this and not getting her own movie, so there's a lot of strikes against them in that area as well. Issue number three, confidence. Personally, if you ask me, I don't believe that the executives at DC... Birds. I don't believe that the executives at DC have any confidence in the movies that they're making. Uh, you take a look at Man of Steel, everybody was very excited about that, uh, as far as the people who made it uh, and the marketing department at DC, and then it came out and it wasn't as critically well received as they were hoping it was going to be. It wasn't the blockbuster, life-changing mega event that you thought it would be. 
And then once again, we can go ahead and refer back to the disaster that was the Green Lantern movie. And it seems like the DC executives are scrambling and that the second Man of Steel movie, which from what was originally said was only going to be another Superman movie, now has to involve Batman to kind of get people back on the train because they wouldn't be as excited for just another Superman movie. The whole thing in general just strikes of panic. Marvel seemed to have a plot point put into place for each of their individual heroes, and they had an overarching story that was put into place as well, and then they executed that, and it worked worked out great. DC, it seems like they're, they're working behind the ball almost, that they're trying to catch up to this thing that's rolling away from them, uh, and, and trying to say, oh no, well we're going to add this, and we're going to add this, where from Marvel's perspective, they just had it all in place to begin with, and it was much more cohesive. It, it fell into place a lot better. And the fourth and final reason that I believe the Justice League movie is not going to do as well as the Avengers marketing. Let's go ahead and compare how the announcement for the Avengers was released and how the announcement for the Justice League was released. The Avengers announcement was made in off the top of my head, I believe 2010 at San Diego Comic-Con. This was made to a group of people who loved comic books. This was the fan base that they were catering to. The Justice League announcement came this past week in the Wall Street Journal. Now that right there should tell you something. That should tell you that Marvel is catering towards the people that they want to watch this movie, and that DC is catering towards the investors, towards the business end of things. And, and really, that almost kind of, maybe it's a cynical way to think of things, but it almost feels like that's how the Superman movie was made, that's how the Batman vs. Superman announcement was made, although that was, I believe, made at, uh, made at one of the larger conventions as well. But the distinction between having an announcement made to a group of comic book fans and uh, a bunch of people in business suits who are making investments, that's a big one. And I think people are going to pick up on that, and I think people are going to notice that. And I think that when the movie actually comes out, it's not going to have the feel of a, of a movie that's been made for the fans. It's going to have a feel of a movie that was made to make some people in business suits money. And people may think that the fans aren't going to be able to pick up on that, but you know when something is not made for you. All right, so that's going to wrap it up as far as the discussion for, for the Justice League movie goes. Again, it's surely going to make boatloads of money, but I don't think it's going to do critically very well, and I don't think it's going to do as well as the Avengers or as the Marvel movies. I think DC found themselves behind a trend, and now they're trying frantically to catch up to it, doing everything they can to scramble and get announcements in place just so they can make their dollars while the iron is hot. Speaking of hot, my back's getting pretty hot from the sun, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up, but not before. VA Comics News. This week I sent in an application to the Albany Comic Con, which is going to be taking place in the middle of June. Uh, there'll be more information about that on our website and on our Facebook and Twitter pages. Also, I am going to be doing some script revisions for a script that I'm going to label Project X right now. Uh, it's a script that I've had for a little while. I'm kind of keeping it under the vest as to what it is. I want it to be a surprise to people, but I figured I would at least share a, a little bit of cryptic information with the people who take the time to watch this video. Once again, I thank you for doing that. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the video. Uh, check out our Facebook, Twitter pages, and the VA Comics website. Uh, all links in the description below. Can you see my finger? The description below. Thank you again for checking out on this. I'll be back hopefully next week. Hopefully not another eight days from now or so. Uh, I've hit Saturday, so I've hit the end of the week. So if I, if I don't come back within at least seven days, then I'm a liar. Until then, be cool and try and get some sun.